I don't know, probably close to 10 years. Sneak on in, look around, anything you want to see. There's an orange prowler not here, that black Superbird convertibles that does. And uh, that white Corvette is in Florida. And look around, anything you want to look around if, at. If I wasn't a Pontiac guy, I'd be a Mopar guy, man. Pull the covers back on that convertible there a little bit if you want. I just got to cover it up to keep the top. It's got a white convertible top. Yeah. Shot that one. I think these are only two I've shot before. Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw the picture today of, of this one that you've done. I keep the top covered up because it's white. Right. You know, whoever ordered that car should have had their ass kicked. Black, no better, honestly. You know, the, the color is right, but it should have been black interior, black color. It's it's nice to be different every now and then. Of course, it's, it's been done inside out. It, it hasn't been cleaned in a year. But it's been done inside out. The the black one is is an original car, except it was painted in about '85, mm -hmm. I think. I've got a picture of it that shows the nose, just the edge of the bumper yeah, crunched sure and hair. And I think that's why it was repainted. I don't know. I can't find any evidence of any body work of any kind at all. Right. This 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 the one you had the wedding photos of, right? Right. Right. Yeah, it's, it's been kind of a funny thing. The guy that, that owned it, mm -hmm. hearing that, I've run into him on, uh, on the DPO forum. Mm -hmm. He acted really weird when I, there's a, a GTO judge picture thing on the, the GTO forum. I put a couple of pictures on this and uh, of this, and he acted kind of strange. And I said, well, you know, I, I think it's the same car. Right and just kind of didn't want to believe or go along with it and since then he's deleted all of his stuff that was pertaining to that mm -hmm. conversation we had it's that's no big deal i don't know mm -hmm. you know they had it 30 years ago i don't know if he's ashamed he sold it or well, that and or, a lot of you know, a lot of the guys online you know like to pretend they got things they don't have there if you need to use comes in handy every now and then you're just going to get the abbreviated tour because i Got to get back on the cruise strip. That that girl up there is not going to wait on me all night. <laughs> oh, yep. There's a lot I was telling Chad about the other day. What I the? Remember, I remember seeing this years ago when I was younger, driving through, and saw you filling up the shell. And for the split second, like from the back, I thought it was that the concept, the That's, GTSR. The uh, actually, what that is, that car was uh, that was one of the very first of the O3s that was on the street, wow. and it came into. Uh, Woodhouse Chrysler in Nebraska. They got it the day before Christmas, whatever year it was, 02, I guess. It's an 03. And uh, they wanted to know if I was going to use the car right away. Auto Forum in Michigan was wanting one of the first ones they could get a hold of to design a hardtop wing, fascias, and all that stuff. So they designed the entire package, put everything on that car, interior and exterior both, and did it for no charge for me left to use the car. And then after they did it, they changed the wing on the top just a little bit. So it's, it's, I'm sure it's one of a kind just because of all the stuff on it. I don't know that anybody put all the, the kits, parts on it. It was, it was mainly for racing. You could buy the hard top, wing, front splitter, side splitters, anything you needed. It's got a different rear fascia on it too. Anything that you, needed to go racing you could buy it they use the bees knees <laughs> but, I, but i doubt anybody wow. ever ordered the entire package at that time it was fifteen thousand dollars and i've only seen a few ever with the top on them maybe one or two with a wing on them so it's not only probably the only one with everything on it the parts on it are not like the rest of the production parts either mm -hmm. and the white one is one of uh, they built a hundred of them in 06 uh, 16 of them had that aero package on them, and it's one of the 16. The red one down there's got 459 miles, the white one's got 56 miles on it. This red one's got 459 miles, and this one's got 7,000 or something on it. Uh, 459 street miles? Just miles, period, yeah. You, you drove them? Or? Yeah, yeah, okay. A little bit. <laughs> a few times. Those three cars. I just know how ride. generous you are. I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't let the daughter run around in it. Or... Well, she's got four. Um, uh, those three Vipers have not been out of the building since they were put in here 10 years ago. 
they've been started and moved around a little bit, but they haven't right. been out of the building in daylight in 10 years. So, of course, you know what the first challenges are. Oh, Corvettes, yeah. everybody's got Corvette. You know. They're, they're nothing spectacular. That's probably one of your favorite drivers there, isn't it? I, I like that car. I've owned that twice. Seems to be the one you cruise the most. Well, it, it's been out several times. It's only got 9,500 actual miles. It's first Daytona that was shipped in the U.S. It's one of three six packs known to exist, and it's got under 10,000 actual miles. As far as I can tell, there's only five known with under 10,000 miles. The black six pack, it's the only car I've got and maybe ever owned that has a non matching engine that was put in. It, the guy blew it when it was new. The TAs are all uh, you know, correct, and mm -hmm. the white one's a 15,000 mile survivor. The purple one I bought in 88, gave it to my son and then got it back, and the pink one I gave it to my daughter and got it back. Her soul is not a restored car. Beach Boy Judge, right? Sorry? Beach Boy Judge, right? Yes, yes. And the green one's the, the duplicate of the one I had when I was 16. Well, I thought I was a bad dog. So, so you brought the Vidoro one out finally, huh? Huh? You brought the Vidoro one over, huh? Yep. I tell you, that since I was 15 years old, that green's always just had, it's a magnet for me. You've seen that picture, I'm sure, of stuff on Facebook of the, was it Superstock magazine that had the two GTOs on it? Mm -hmm. I carried that thing in my sophomore year to school every day, looked at it. I wanted the convertible. It was a red convertible and a green hardtop. I wanted the convertible and I wanted the green. But uh, Good mine, the, the only difference between that one and mine this one's got power steering. That's the only difference. Hard to complain about that. No. I tell you, I feel terrible in here sweating my butt off and holding you up. So. Well, we're headed back to Broad Street. We so. won't. <laughs> we, we won't. We won't keep you guys all hey, night. Anytime you're out and about, and you want to come over and hang out and do it or any, you know, take pictures, set but, them, anything you want to do, just give me a holler. Brandon's. <laughs> kind of been asking me about it, and I thought I've only heard rumors about this. Mm -hmm. Well, like I say, it normally looks a lot better than this. Cars are normally <laughs> they're normally in their space. The floor is swept, clean, painted, and there's not oil spots and bare yeah. spots. And it hey, normally it's... looks better, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it, it, it just uh, I'm not it, here enough anymore. Hard it, to keep it like it, it's the history and the friendship, man. Well, the, the, the looks are just incentive. That, that's what you know. I mean. Mm -hmm. I, my dad, God bless him for keeping his little 10 by 20 clean, mm -hmm. but I, I'm constantly frustrated going, you know, a clean garage is not a garage to work in. Yeah. Huh? Is that a little cross goat? topic? A goat? It's a goat. My GTO talking to it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was my girlfriend too. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got to go. <laughs> uh, man. Hey, Larry, thanks for having us over here. Yeah, thank you. You're more than welcome. Anytime, give me a hug. Yeah. There you go. Ah, yeah. It really was a goat. Oh, great. There you go. That's my cow horn. <laughs> Be safe tonight, fellas.